I moved up the two kennels so that the pups could come up here and sleep on the porch because you know how sentimental it is to have a porch with a dog laying at your feet so you can read a book this in a, a chair. Area. My husband made this really, really cute kennel area. Um, you could flip that little latch up and it opens clean out there and it could lock to where this whole porch here can be locked in. If when the puppies get their bath, I bathe them the day before you come up and I put them on this porch and I lock the gate so that oh, they stay the chairs. This is a chair I sit in whenever I watch the puppies eat in the morning. And then later on in the afternoon, I sit over here as they're kind of cooling off in their little, little, little carriers. To where if I have summer or fall puppies, I could put one litter here and one litter in the other one. But right now I have my wood here because it's still kind of chilly in the morning. And uh, this is my little bee trap bucket. I hang some meat in that, put bubbles in the bottom, and it catches thousands and thousands of bees all summer long. And then there's the creek. In these two litters, I have three bowls of food, and I'll get about five puppies around each one, and then the sixth one will squeeze in somewhere. And I have in here about um, a half a gallon of milk spread between the three, and this is raw goat milk at this time. And then I have Rod Vintage that I pick up to add, I add one pack to all three dishes. Grain free Victor dog food. This is for the puppies. And this is my super premium for the females and, and the puppies get it too. This is my glucosamine bag and that back there, the pink Start one is the salmon up. bag. And um, today, since they are, the first litter is six weeks old, I bring them up here and I'm going to get them used to the pour. And they're gonna get used to everything and, and then I'll have to show them how to get down and where to use the bathroom. So Rue here is napping on all the toys. Rhea and Hank playing underneath the chair, thinking this is pretty darn cool. Uh, I think we got Blaze headed over that way. He's got a couple little stripes on his back leg in Cheyenne. And they're having a good time. Hank's just full of himself, let me tell you. And I believe that's Baloo. He's taking his bunny, or somebody's bunny, and going into the bedroom. Here's Max heading in after him. Max and Baloo have a very similar body shape. Another toy here. And Raven is over there with a the little bear. There goes Cheyenne. Cheyenne loves to be where the action is, so that's Here's where she's Abby. headed. She's got her new collar on, and she's playing with her fox. Doesn't she know that's hers? She put her first smell on it. I believe we have Portia over there with a hippopotamus, and she's quite happy. New collar on, sleeping with Abby's toy, and there's Abby checking out, saying, yes, that's my toy, and I think I'll sleep here by my toy and Portia. I think they love the treat bag more than they like the treats. Big dogs eat the treats, little dogs get the bag, everybody's happy. Tabby, play with me. I'm named after you. We should have great fun together. Oh, come on. I'll play. I'll play. Come on, come on, come on. So now Abby's going to talk to her mom. Yes, I believe you're Portia. I believe so. Your collars are getting tight. Guess what? Your mommy sent you a new one. If I can just get these old ones off. Yeah. 